today we're working on the Bel Air. It's been a while since we made a video on this. Um, it's just been sitting mainly. I haven't had to do any work on it. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I sold my Cadillac. So this is back to being my daily driver. Uh, not the greatest time of year for it. What I'm working on today is the door rubbers on the front. These are the, I don't know, I'm assuming they're original. I haven't changed them since I got it and they're pretty wore out and they've started to leak a little bit of water. Now the back doors I did when I got the car and uh, the reason I didn't do the front ones at the same time is because the kit I got came with front door seals for a two door which are obviously the wrong ones so I got some new ones and we'll get those put in and maybe it'll keep the water off of me. Here's the new door rubbers I got. I just got them off Rock Auto. They were like 50 bucks or something like that. So we'll get them out, lay them on the door and see if they line up. Here is uh, the driver's side seal out of the package. And I went ahead and got this seal installed on the passenger side door. Looks pretty nice. Might quiet it down a little bit inside. Um, the doors are real stiff now, which this rubber says that it will be stiff the first day, and then uh, after that it'll get better, which it may take a little longer since it's so cold outside now. But uh, the door still shuts. It's pretty good rubber. You can see it's actually pushing the top of the door out just a little bit, but I would assume that once that rubber settles in, it'll go back in there. <clears throat> but now I'm going to rip the other side off and get it installed. All I'm doing to take this off is taking a screwdriver and uh, getting in here and just breaking it apart. And that's all there is to taking it out and then I'll come back in on these clips here with a pair of side cutters and just pull those out and if, if they break, I just push them into the door. But uh, not a whole lot going on with that. Okay, I got the old weather stripping off um, <clears throat> and I got it lined up where all the pins line up with a hole, which is the hardest part with this because there's not really any clips or anything. I mean, there's just these pins, but they're all just a random distance apart. So I got these to line up. And now all I gotta do is go through and put the pin in the hole and then get it to go all the way in. But. I mean, that'll go around the door. It's pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> and once I get all these pins in, I'll show you the finished product. Here is the finished product. So that should keep the water out. Door still shuts. I have to slam it a little bit. Hopefully, it'll keep it a little drier inside. I know that video was pretty boring because it's just weather stripping, so I thought I'd do a little update on what's going on in the shop. Uh, this is a project here that my dad bought. Haven't really done a. He put uh, brakes on it, but he didn't film anything. It's got a little uh, six cylinder in it. Got this at a, an estate sale. Motor runs pretty good, but it needs a carburetor because the carburetor's dumping a lot of fuel in it. Not real sure why, but the motor sounds good and doesn't smoke. It's a little four door Ford Falcon 1962 model. Six cylinder with a three on the tree. Everything works, even the AM radio. 
The big news is the uh, Impala, which we did the twin turbo setup on, has gotten painted. So nothing's been sanded or buffed yet. We're waiting on getting the car a little closer to being back together, so less chances of scuffing it. <clears throat> Here is the motor. I don't know that we showed the intake or the Holly mid-mount accessory drive on here. This is going to be running FI Tech for engine management. Here's the color. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting isn't great in here. It's a Toyota color. Not real sure what uh what it's off of <clears throat> and the only other thing we've done to this car is he has started wiring it got his wires ran to the trunk and uh, we also got the air ride hooked up not permanent obviously it's just setting in here just so we could air it up and move it around but <clears throat> that's an update on what's going on in here. Haven't posted anything in a while. Been real busy with uh, other projects. So hopefully start posting stuff more often. It's cooling off more, so I can't do as much outside. So I might be doing more in here. But thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you want to know anything more about anything else you've seen.